Well, it's a pretty Sunday morning. It's a lot of boats. So we're gonna do some bass or whatever we're gonna catch today, but I'm gonna catch some bait right here at the boat ramp. So I'm gonna give me some, some little bluegills. I got some corn with me. I brought some night crawlers too, but I'm gonna try to use corn. I just want some little little bluegills for bait. So let's see what we can do. Hey, hey, wait a minute, Mr. Bait Man. <laughs> bait boat. Gonna get those shiners. We had a lot of fun in two hours. Huh? Yeah, really. That's good. That's good. Any any good sizes to them? Yeah, what do we get? Fours, fives, one six. Nice, nice, man. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we had eight dozen shiners and just did them in two hours. Holy cow! Are you catch any of those uh, um, bowfin too? Bowfin? Some gar. Got some gar. gar. One, one gar. catfish. One cat, yeah. Right, well, that's a lot of, man, I, I, that's over $100 in bait, in it? Never mind, I'm not going to rub it in. I'm not gonna, <laughs> <laughs> yep. But yeah, next time you guys go, man, try to get you a little, just a little rinky dink rig, man, and take you along, take along a couple little bluegills with you. They're legal to use. Yeah. And, yeah, and try them too. That'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. And that's just an aerator bucket. Yeah, just an aerator bucket, but you know what? They're so hardy. Nine times out of ten, you don't even need that. You don't even need the aerator, huh? Yeah. You know? I just, I do that just to keep them more lively, you know? It was one big airboat. I think another one's coming. Yeah, there's another one coming. Testies, testies, one, two, three. Oh shit, let me get out of the way, boy. Let me get out of the way, shit. Oh, thank God. He's going over that way. That's crazy. I can feel the blast from here. Yeah, they go right over the weeds like that, like no problem. Airboats are crazy. This is the first big open up where it opens up after you come down through the canal. And uh, a lot of boats go out that way and there's different cuts and whatnot, but there's a lot of shallow areas here and a lot of stumps and stuff like that. You just gotta be really careful.
Oh, I had one on, folks. I had one on. I don't know if I got one on. I think I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Uh, come on, Cam. <laughs> He's not the biggest in the world, but hey, you know what? It's a fish. See, that's what I'm saying, though. Bluegills do work. He's got a he's got leeches in his mouth. Look down in his mouth, see him? Um a little little baby one. <laughs> I need more bait. What the hell? Oh, I thought I had another fish on. The pole started going in the water. I am out of bluegills. So we're going to go find some more. Fresh bait. That unia bait. Makes you say unia, unia. <laughs> Catch lunk right there. I know it. That's gonna be lunk. I already got dink. I just need lunk. Can I get away with it a little bit? Can I get away with that? Let's find out. It'd be more ideal if I just put another piece of bait on here, but let's just see what happens. It's moving. Something's messing with it. Something, oh, something had it. I'm gonna put another little piece on there. Actually, wait, I'll wait. Oh, look at that. On that little tiny piece. That little, little tiny piece. I got me one. That's a pretty one. A red ear. I think it's a red ear sunfish, I think. Look at that barb. I'm getting a bite over here on the left hand side. I'll put it out here where you can see it too. I like to appease my customer. Oh, got a bite. Come on, all you need, gotcha. <laughs> There's one. Well, I just need two more. There you go. A little guy right there. Ah. Oh. All right. One more. One more, y'all. Let's go. Let's go play with some bass, y'all. Come on. Fish. Oh, golly, man.
I think I just got a hit. Oh, that's definitely a hit. Yep, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Oh, it got off. God. Hey, man, that was a hit, though. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that bluegill all mangled up. That must have been a. That was either a gator or a. Um, could have been a bowfin. But he is mangled. Look, see all the teeth marks in him? <laughs> yeah, he's done for. He's flattened too. It might have been a baby gator over there. Killed my bluegill. Ugh. Yes. fish right there. It's the last one of the day. You gonna jump on me? <laughs> oh! Not a bad day. I had two of them that weren't oh my god i thought that was a gator right there y'all but it's a piece of something i don't know but it looked like the the back of a gator uh i got i had two other bass that i thought the camera was running and it wasn't running so that's like four or five today not bad not bad um i mean i just came out to mess around my boat has not ran I haven't had this boat out in months. I just got it registered um, with, uh, so it's legal, so I can actually come out here with it. I think that's a net in the water. Let me see what this is. Oh. Freebie, if it's a net. It looks like a net. Or is it my net? That'd be some shit if it's my net. Holy crap, it is my net. <laughs> that's my net. Where they make these uh, hooks on these um, these ascend uh, that just they make these uh, hooks on there and you can grab a hold of stuff. Fortunately, and I didn't even know my net um, fell out. I thought it was a gator, and no, it's my net. That was crazy. But um, oops got you wet over there I gotta I'm gonna get organized so I can get on back to the boat ramp long story short um, 
long story short, uh, my boat's been sitting under a tree, so it's got all this dirt in it. I got to get it cleaned out. And I just charged the battery up last night and said, you know what? Uh, it's supposed to be calm winds tomorrow, so I'm going fishing. And here I am. So uh, I had a great day. See y'all back at the ramp. Hey y'all, you know, I was just fishing here. Catching my bluegill, you know, from this little, when I went out to go fishing just now. Just to show you how quickly the terrain and, and the water obstacles can change. Look what's at the boat ramp. <laughs> that was just a few hours ago. That was just a few hours ago and that giant clump of vegetation floated in.